in my awesome possums just want to come to you today and give you a quick recipe on spaghetti squash i'm gonna make some spaghetti squash spaghetti with ground turkey and yeah so what you want to do is you just want to get your but your spaghetti squash cut it in half and this one i've already scooped out the middle you know put it on the pan and I'm going to go ahead and start scooping out the middle of the, the other one, the other half. And this is a good, healthy recipe. It's very good. You don't even miss the noodle. Okay, so I've scooped out the middle of both of them. As you can see. And now we're going to take a little oil. We're going to oil them. And I have my oven pre preheating to 350. I'm going to use just a little oil on them. And you want to just massage that oil on them. front and back. And we're going to put them on. <laughs> we're going to put them skin side up. But before we do that, I want to season them. Let me wash my hands. I'm just going to season them with some garlic powder. A little seasoned salt. And a little black pepper. And that's it. I'm gonna do skin side up. Flip them babies over. I'm gonna put them in the oven. And I'll come back in a minute when they're done. Oh, hey y'all, I'm back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm back. My, my spaghetti squash is ready for y'all that are just tuning in. Hi! And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. So you can join the family. But my spaghetti squash is ready. I'm going to let y'all see. Turn one of them up so you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in the oven. So I can uh, cook my ground turkey. We're not using beef today. I have the oven on 200. It's just going to stay warm. So I'm trying to eat a little healthier. Because that's what, that's what I do. I want to eat a little healthier. So I can continue my weight loss journey. Because I'm not done yet. And plus, my mom has to eat healthier, too. <clears throat> so this is for me and her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown my ground turkey. I have some ground turkey here. And it is 97% 
fat free. So you can ground this ground turkey. I mean brown it. Now I wanna wash my weight, y'all. I wanna wash the weight. I didn't have weight loss surgery for nothing. My hands are clean. So let's get that going. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just make a spaghetti sauce. And I have some Prego flavored meat. I'm going to use some Rotel. And I'm going to also use some sliced mushrooms. And some tomato paste. But you know what, y'all? I forgot something. important thing, my onion and bell pepper. Since my kids are not going to eat this or my honey, I'm just making it for me and my mama. Oh my goodness. When you feel, hold on. I don't have to Blend it. I normally saute my onion and bell pepper before I put my meat in, but I forgot. But I hope everybody is having a wonderful day, a blessed day. So we're going to cut this up. Just gonna dice it. And I'm gonna use the whole onion. This is just a small yellow onion. It's a nice little recipe I want y'all to try. It's very good. It's very good. I've had it before. And you don't miss the noodles at all. So give it a try. And tell me what you think. There are the onion diced up. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and put that in the pan with the meat. Let's go ahead and get the bell pepper chopped up. I'm not going to use the whole bell pepper. I'm going to use a big chunk though. Set that to the side. I 
just washed it off. I've been having a taste for some spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna just brown the brown turkey. Now season it after everything comes together. Everything is falling out, y'all. I didn't use no oil at all. I'm just gonna let it cook on its own. And you know, turkey don't have oil, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown this ground turkey and then I'm gonna come back. See you in a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back, so the turkey is looking good. So now I'm going to go ahead and season it. I have some black pepper. Some fresh red peppers. Some parsley. Some Italian seasoning. Some garlic powder. And a little seasoned salt. My mama, she normally don't eat ground turkey, but 
since we're going on this diet. She she said she'll give it a try, so hopefully she'll like it. It's good and healthy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She asked me, is it almost ready? <laughs> she hungry. Don't get hangry now. <laughs> okay. It's almost ready. So now we got all the seasonings in there. Doing this thing. I want to add something in here. That I've never put in there before is sliced mushrooms. Just sliced mushrooms in here. I love mushrooms. I think I'm pouring the juice off. Kept a little bit of the juice. Slice mushrooms in there. Oh, that looks good. Smells even better. Put some tomato sauce in there. Well, some tomato sauce. That's the tomato paste. And that's the one with no salt added because I added my own salt to my meat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients and when I come back, we're going to put it together. Okay, y'all, so my meat has been simmering here for about 20 minutes. It's ready. I added a little more uh, seasoned salt, Italian seasoning, and black pepper to it. And now I'm ready to put it together. Just get the squash is ready. So like I say, to, to prepare your um, spaghetti squash, just put a little oil on it, oil it real good, cut it in half, and season the inside. Lay them skin side up, throw them in the oven for about 45 minutes, take them out. This is what you're going to do. It's hot. So you take the spaghetti squash and just scrape it. And you scrape it and it look like spaghetti. I don't know if y'all can see that. And you scrape it. And you just scrape it on your plate. So this is my mom's plate. I'm gonna make her a plate. She's never had this before, but I think she's going to enjoy it. So hot.
Like I say, you will not miss the noodle. So you have your spaghetti squash right here. Stir it up a little bit. You want a little cheese, mama? I'm going to put a little cheese on top of the spaghetti while they hot. And we're just going to use some Kobe and Monterey Jack shredded cheese. put the meat sauce on top. with a little more cheese. Since we use ground turkey, spaghetti squash, it's okay to have a little cheese. And that's it. And, oh, forgot. Put a little parsley on top. And that's it, right there. Tell me that look good. Let me know in the comment section if it look good. I know it too. Oh, that looks delicious. And it's going to taste even better. Okay, okay. Well, y'all, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And um, like I say, if you like my content, I hope you do. Don't forget to like, comment, share me out, and subscribe to my channel. It will really mean so much to me. But I really appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time, peace.